Right. So what led you to taking your three month sabbat- sabbatical? <sighs> Man, everything, everything came to a head. Uh, I had a failed uh, suicide attempt. Um, uh, if you're a religious person, then then you believe that that was a, a heavenly father saying, hey, man, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how else to tell you that I'm, I'm here with you. Right. You know, um, when we first started this podcast, um, we were talking about people sharing their story and that can not be easy for you. I mean, I, I, I automatically noticed your body language change. Your eyes got heavy and you're starting to water up. I mean, what makes you want to share that? Like what you guys said in the beginning, if you can help one person, you know, and so my therapy and my journey, uh, I have to share my story. Hopefully, hopefully it helps, man. Uh, I have a saying that I've been uh, telling uh, people uh, since my sabbatical, uh, no egos, only equals. That's, that's all I look at it right now. Like Case it. That's really, uh, that's been the thing that's been pushing me uh, to share my story. Um you know, you talk about the other intangibles that come along with, you know, uh, that fearlessness. If if you didn't deliver on a day, a show didn't feel like it was a five star. I felt less than than adequate. I, I felt like, oh, then that means tomorrow I got to be even more crazier. Right. I always had that. I got to one up myself. And sometimes it 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 backfired because I didn't feel good about myself and I'd come home irritable and who paid the price? Your wife and your kids, you know? So when you say, uh, that they didn't get that Casey, uh, bro, I I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Uh, my wife would tell people that all the time. She would, she would be the spot. What's it like living with him? It's fun. It's it's exciting every day. It's oh my gosh, you know it's amazing, you know. And then going to bathroom. <laughs> okay, I feel better now. Okay, you know it's just it, I I felt bad for her that she had to put up a front like that, you know. Yeah. Stop and, me if your wife said this, Buddha. We're not on TV. Oh, how many times <laughs> gonna be on my gravestone? Oh. Da, da, da. <laughs> explain your life. Yeah. yeah. We 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 could we probably could be millionaires with bumper stickers. Yeah. Things that your wives say to you when you're on TV and you think you're the shizzle. Yeah. You know? Oh. And there is ego the god with it. And I and I've talked to Dr. Matt and this has been something that I've recently been sharing about my story is the ego. Uh I yeah. mean you yeah, yeah. I mean it, it comes with it. No, you yeah, I don't think people understand when you can call a business up at three o'clock in the morning without any kind of warning and they say yes to you. You know what I'm saying? You think that every idea some, you have is a good idea. That does something to you, man. It does. That's what I'm telling you. It does. When it, you're driving it's a around huge reinforcement. with a car with your face and your name on it and a cop pulls you over because they just want to take a picture. That affects you. <laughs> it affects you guys. Yeah. I, was, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't walking around like my shiz doesn't stink, but I I knew what white privilege felt like. I'm just saying. I'm just, <laughs> I know what white privilege feels like because I could cut in line. I could do that, but I didn't do those people things. People were pushing you to the front of the line. They, people, They'd be, oh, case, come up here. Don't wait in line. Why are you back yeah. there? And I, I drove, you know the rules. Yeah. You never do that. Mm. And I think that's what endeared us to people is because people say, you belong in the front. No, no, no. We're, I'm back here in the line. I'm I'm cool back here. Yeah, right. yeah. but but people have a sense. But that still builds your ego because they offered it, right? It did. Yeah. But but that's what I'm saying is, it cannot affect you. It has to right. affect you when people are throw. It's I'm just saying it's really hard. So. I would try to reserve the good juju for the morning show, for the afternoon show. Then when I come home, I'm this mean son of a gun. You know, that didn't want to do anything. 